we're going to take a look in on my no grit bin. Now this bin has been running for about 10 months. This is a 10 gallon or 38 liter container here that started out with about one little over one pound or half a kilo of my Red Wiggler Blue Worm European Nightcrawler mix. Now in the entire time they have never been given any sort of eggshell, rock dust, or anything of that type. And we have been just doing this experiment long term to see how the worms would do. How well do they eat their food? How well do they reproduce? And, and do we see any problems over the course of the time? So I'm going to take a look in on here and you can tell that they are making some nice castings here and there's a little baby worm right there by my thumb so they are clearly reproducing. It's been about three weeks since we've been in here and we fed them those uh, bananas. I think there was four bananas and I... It's been three weeks and a pound of worms and four bananas is probably... Three weeks is too long for us to see any kind of a worm ball fed right down the middle here. Um, one of the things I did want to ask everybody is, do you remember that experiment? In the United States, at least, uh, we did an experiment as children t on earthworms, and they would give us uh, formaldehyde preserved really large worms where we would open them up and, and see all how the parts were similar or not similar to mammals. And what I do distinctly remember is them saying they had a gizzard and everything similar to chickens and that they required grit to digest their food. So after doing this for many months um, and looking at my worms here, uh, they, they appear, I mean, they're smallish worms, but, you know, who knows what that's about. I mean, is that because of the grit? I don't know. Um, so one of my questions is, what are they using for grit? Because the food is going away, clearly, and they are reproducing, so they are metabolizing, etc. So what are they using for grit? Are they using, like, the paperboard? Is there some sort of um, the seeds from melons or avocados? Is that hard enough for them to use as grit? Or are they relying on the other bin critters to knock the food down and make it uh, edible for them. So today I'm, I'm going to, this is just going to be a quick update here, but we're going to give them some more bedding to increase the volume of the bin here. And this is just wet cardboard, nothing, you know, it's not really even my prepared bedding that I normally use. Um, so I wanted to know, you know, what do you think is going on here? Because um, you can even see Let's see, I just knocked a cocoon down. There's a brand new cocoon right there that came in probably on my hands. Um, we're going to give them a bit of a feeding here. It is some vegetables and peppers and apple tea bags for them to eat. Some of this will be slow food. They'll have a hard time getting into brand new fresh vegetables. You know, one of the other things that I do uh, wonder about is the efficiency. You know, are they, are they smaller worms because they simply aren't able to eat the food and get the nutrients they need the first pass? Because we know they eat this stuff multiple times before it's completely processed. Looking at it right now, this is more like worm compost than worm castings. When you, there's another cocoon. Uh, when you get the actual worm castings and they're complete, normally it's very, you can see it kind of on your hands where it's almost like a mud. Uh, this is, you know, obviously not finished. I'm trying to get this to go an entire year, which is why I am uh, continually adding bedding here to kind of dilute everything so that we can stretch it out to a whole year, at which point we're going to have a new experiment where we're just going to take the cocoons and put them in fresh uh, bedding because some people have theorized that the worms that I started with may have had some grit in their crop and gizzard from wherever they were originally before I started the experiment and they thought next year, and I love I love all these ideas, that if we started with cocoons there's no way they had any sort of residual grit in their system. So let me know what you think about next year's experiment. Cocoon only, no grit experiment, and we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, well if you liked the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.